The man didn't deserve that and Rudy didn't deserve to die either. First at 11, we continue to learn more details about the man police say committed a cannibal style attack from his best friends. Good evening, I'm Elliot Rodriguez. And I'm Shannon Horry. Rudy Eugene's closest friends gathered today to speak exclusively with CBS4 News. And what they told us could contain clues about Eugene's frame of mind the day of the attack. CBS4's Lauren Pastrana begins our team coverage tonight. Lauren, what have you learned? Shannon, Rudy Eugene's friends remember him as funny and smart, but they say he'd had a lot on his mind lately. Those closest to Eugene told me their friend had some big news to share, but he died before revealing his secret, even to those who knew him best. And he said that he had something that he wanted to tell us, but he didn't feel that we would understand. So I don't know what, what it was. Rudy Eugene's inner circle is in the dark about what could have led to Saturday's brutal attack on the MacArthur Causeway. They say these images of their friend lying naked after chewing the face off a stranger just don't line up with the man they know. I saw the video and that's not Rudy. Physically it was Rudy, but mentally that was not Rudy. I, I'm still in denial that he's gone and stuff, but I can't believe that's, that's him and I can't believe what I what I heard. His friends say Eugene wasn't a drinker or a drug addict. Never knew him for being on any type of drugs. Never knew him for acting up out, um, you know, out of his character. In fact, they say when they saw him last on the Thursday before his death, Eugene made a promise. His last words to me was that he wanted to get his life right with God and get better and stronger and closer to God and he wanted to stop smoking pot. That's it. But cops believe he was under the influence of something much more powerful than marijuana the day he walked on the sun-drenched MacArthur Causeway, shedding his clothes along the way. Police believe LSD, or possibly bath salts, may have been in Eugene's system when he chewed the face of Ronald Popo. His friends don't doubt that theory, but they don't think Eugene was responsible. It had to be some sort of drug that somebody probably slipped on him. Because, I mean, Rudy wouldn't even so much as pop a Tylenol pill. Until they get answers, all they're left with are memories and what ifs. If I was that guaranteed, that wouldn't happen. He would have made it home safe, slept it off, got back up, and we, have, we wouldn't have been here right now. The victim, Ronald Popo, is still fighting for his life at Jackson Memorial Hospital. The Jackson Memorial Foundation has started a fund to assist him in his recovery. For more information on that, just log on to CBSMiami.com. I'm Lauren Pastrana, CBS4 News Tonight.